Hey, 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 what's up, y'all? This is Adam with Global Abundance LLC back with another video. Thanks for tuning in if you're new and if you are already a part of the family, thanks for stopping by. On this channel, we talk all things real estate, commercial, and residential, and a little bit of uh, financial literacy sprinkled in there and some personal development. And, and this video is, you know, more on the uh, personal development side. Uh, uh, if you find value in this information, go ahead, like, share, subscribe. So, you know, the more people uh, are informed, the, the better off we'll all be as a whole. Uh, we have a free VIP group where we share, you know, what's working, dig deep into the industry and answer the tough questions. So uh, if you'd like to join that, it's free to join. I'll leave the link in the description below. So today's video is just about getting your mind right. And we'll just touch up on, you know, four different subjects on that. And uh, hopefully that's something that, you know, can benefit you that we can all move forward with. So the first thing I want to talk about is confused and distracted mind sucks. Right. Like when you're unclear, you don't have clarity. Um, you don't have your your why button down and your North Star. Uh, that confusion and distraction can can lead you down the wrong path. You know, uh, distraction itself uh, can easily get you off of your path. You know, think about all the times that. There's, there's things that you need to get done in a day or that you want to do and up oh, the phone rings or, oh, you know, let me get a bite to eat real quick. Or, oh, let me, you know, do this and do that. And of course, some of these things are important, but if in the bigger scheme of things, uh, something that should take maybe 10 minutes at most to do uh, ends up taking you, you know, an hour and a half or worse yet, not even done. Uh, that's because you got distracted, okay? And confusion um, is another bad thing, man, because you're not clear. You know, clarity is, is, is so crucial. Being clear on who you are, what you provide, uh, what, you know, what makes you smile, what, what, uh, uh, what brings positivity to your life, what it is that you want to have, you know, who do you want to be? Um, and, and overall, just, you know, knowing what your why is very, very important. So, you know, a confused and distracted mind definitely sucks. And we all want to get away from that so we can have a clear path to where we're going. Uh, the second thing I want to talk about is, are you making objective choices or subjective choices? Which one? Uh, we tend to, you know, allow our emotions to uh, make choices for us a lot. But, you know, at the end of the day, <clears throat> using logic and being objective in your approaches to a lot of things, especially in real estate, um, is going to help you out a lot. For example, if you, you know, selling a home, you know, maybe you've got a lot of uh, sentimental value locked up in that home. Maybe you have a lot of, uh, you know, good memories and emotions locked up in that home. Uh, maybe a loved one used to stay there with you and has, has uh, you know, long passed away, unfortunately. Um, and you have an attachment to that house. Um, the truth is, you know, the next person doesn't have those same type of feelings that you have about that house. They just don't. I'm just being honest with you. It, it doesn't, it's not being mean or, or, you know, like, hey, to hell with what's going on with you. It's not about that. It's about being objective. So 
this investor is looking to buy a property in this area that fits this particular uh, criteria in this certain budget. And it doesn't have anything to do with all the subjective things that you're thinking about where you're like, well, I grew up in this house and, you know, I, I, I you know, remember back in that corner, I had, that, was, that was where we had our first barbecue when I was a kid. And, and that's all great, but that doesn't matter to the next person that's buying your property, you know, just being real. So in real estate or, or just in general, you know, are you trying to figure out, are you making an objective choice or a subjective choice? Okay. Are you, are you in it with, you know, clear logic and, and understanding about, you know, where you, where you're going with that and what you're doing, or is it, based on your feelings and your emotions, okay? Which leads to my next point, which is emotions and how they can destroy your life, right? Uh, once again, emotions is something that we all deal with. Emotions is something that uh, we, we all have to face in our life. But are you living your life through your emotions? Are you living your life through uh, that you know, painted glass of, of how your emotions are filtering your perspective on life and other people around you. Uh, because if you are, you know, there's a strong likelihood that, you know, things can go left for you. Okay. Um, we're here on a, on a channel about real estate. So again, I can tie what I'm talking about to that. Um, once again, same kind of scenario. You know, maybe you have an emotional attachment to that house. Uh, that buyer does not have that same emotional attachment. So the deal doesn't end up happening because the price that you're asking is way out of line and out of budget for what this buyer is looking to spend on that property. It just doesn't financially add up and make sense there. Uh, on the flip side, say you're an investor and, you know, um, emotions are, are what you're using to filter whether you should buy this property or not. Um, you could end up making a mistake buying a property and getting in for something that needs uh, so much repairs that it just doesn't make sense. Right. Like you end up losing or you end up just sitting on a deal that gives you more headaches than, than, you know, than you would like to have because of emotion. So try to do your best to guard your emotions uh, because, you know, they can send you down a dark path. Okay. And the last thing I want to talk about is the power of self-awareness, which is pretty much everything wrapped up in the bulk of what I've been talking about here. Self-awareness, how, much attention are you putting on how you think, what you say, you know, uh, some of the things that you're doing, you know, as I'm even talking to you, you know, I'm, I'm aware that I'm um and us and, and, and those pauses are something that I need to break myself as I'm sitting here making this video. With you. I'm aware of that, that there's a lot of ums and there's a lot of us as I'm talking to you. So the power of self-awareness is, is crucial because it gets you to really look inside. You know, it's easy to look outside. You know, we have eyes on the front of our face and we're constantly looking outside of us, right? But more often than not, we need to turn <laughs> the, the, the sight back on ourself and look into ourself. Have awareness, have self-awareness. What are your habits? What are you doing? What are the things that you should be doing? What are the things that you're not doing? What are the things that you are doing? Who are you being? Who are you not being? You know what I mean? Uh, because it, it's all about how you're being, which will allow you to be doing the right things that, you know, are, you know, uh, that resonate with how you're being for you to have the things that you want to have. 
really isn't the other way around where it's, well, once I have that car, then, you know, I can be doing these things and then I'll be this person. It's not the way it actually is, even though that's how most of us uh, have lived or is living currently at this moment. So everything that I've kind of talked about today is around self-awareness at the end of the day. You know, how much attention are you putting on your own thoughts, your own uh, actions, your behavior? Uh, how aware are you about your why and the actions that you're taking daily to get to that destination? Um, important. So with that said, uh, I think I'll go ahead and, and, and shut this video down found value here you know getting your mind right uh hey hit that like button share subscribe you know there's more videos coming like this uh because i really like talking about this kind of content and again this is a real estate channel for sure but you know all these things pertain to having the right mindset while you're out there investing or whether you're just selling your property. These are things that you want to be mindful of. All right. So with that said, I want to make this video too long and, uh, you know, have you checking out on me. Right. So if you found value, you know what to do. Hit that like button, share, subscribe. I want to have a conversation with you. So go ahead and leave any feedback, any, you know, comments, any, uh, questions, any, any uh, uh, insights that, that you have about self-awareness and, and things of that nature and emotions and things that have, you know, kind of sent you down a dark path and, and things that have, have worked for you. I'd like to hear from you. So go ahead and jump in the comments below and uh, I'll see you soon. Have a good one.